Hey, I'm Jono, I'm here at Occupy Sydney and uh, I'm just going to give a quick report on what's happened so far on day two. We made it through the night, we camped and uh, we're still here, we're occupying. Uh, basically, we had a general assembly this morning. Yeah, it didn't go so smoothly. We got some things done, but we're still learning how to run this general assembly process. And as a result of today's meeting, one of the things that came out was that we were going to form a, uh, a working committee for the General Assembly for, uh, for the facilitators to learn how to better facilitate those meetings so that we can have much smoother discussion and get more decisions made and get more done and eventually distill things that we're going to release to the public as uh, you know everyone's asking for demands but uh, for me it's more about the process of actually having a, a form of democracy that the people get to engage in and uh, really feel like their voice is heard and that's happening, that is actually happening. The other thing that happened today was uh, there was a coal seam gas um, protest in Martin Place as well and we sent a whole contingent of our people down there in complete support of that. Uh, coal seam gas is a massive issue in Australia right now because we've got you know massive companies coming in and leaning on governments with their money in my opinion uh, and you know making it so that farmers voices aren't being heard where they're having the entire water table underneath their land and underneath the land of the entire district that they're in completely destroyed and ruined by, um, by the coal seam gas process. So, I don't know, it's disturbing for me to hear these kinds of facts and I'm glad that we we're in support of that protest today and we had a lot of those people come up and have a look and see what we were about as well. Uh, what else has happened today? Um, we've had a lot of more working and discussion groups where we're starting to break off and discuss particular issues so then we can bring that back to the General Assembly and then bring that into the um, to the process of moving motions and getting decisions made about where we stand as a group. So the more that we uh, have these, these discussion groups during the day, um, the more distilled the conversation will be when we get to the General Assembly and that's a good thing, especially for new people coming and sitting down and or just standing by and watching what we're doing. You know, it's great for them to see, well it will be great for us to for them to see that we're getting better at this process and it's getting easier and and uh, we're being more disciplined with our conversation so that we can um, make our decisions in a more focused way. Uh, tonight we're planning on occupying again as always and uh, the police are here if you want to swing around they're just over there. So the police are here have a police representative come a little while ago and uh, they basically said that there's going to be a different commanding officer looking after the situation tonight and it's going to be at that officer's discretion how to deal with the fact that there are people who wanting to might have a bit want to have a bit of a nap while they're enjoying the park in the middle of the night um, we're not sure how it's going to turn out tonight um, we can assure you that our approach is a peaceful approach and, and we're looking at exercising our democratic rights and um, that's what we're about so who knows what report you'll get tomorrow about what happened tonight, but we will be occupying tonight. Um, please come down. If you resonate with this movement, then come and support, because uh, the only way this is going to work is if it grows. So, hope to see you here soon.